been quite a while since I sat down by myself, spoke to my camera uh, and made a video for my YouTube channel. But one of my New Year's resolutions for this year is to take up YouTube again. Um, I've actually deleted, well I haven't deleted, I've privated loads and loads most of my old videos because oh, looking back at them they are just so cringy and I just can't bear for anyone to see them anymore so I actually have, if you're new to my channel I have been doing YouTube for I think some of my videos were three or four years old so I used to make videos back in 2012, 2013 that was like my prime time for my YouTube channel um, yeah I used to love making videos I became quite obsessed with it and then when I was in third year at university I kind of gave it up because it is a lot of work but I'm back now and yeah as I said New Year's resolution one of them is to do YouTube again and to be honest I'm kind of getting bored of vlogging now I've been doing fashion vlogging for about five years now it kind of blew up for a bit and then now it's kind of fizzling out a little bit I don't think people are reading vlogs as much anymore I certainly don't read many other vlogs. I'm into more travel vlogs now over fashion vlogs. Yeah, I'm kind of over it. I want to get into this year, get into lifestyle vlogging. I'm going traveling this year, so I really want to get into travel vlogging, food vlogging. I love cooking and I don't think I've really ever done a proper recipe blog post. So I'm going to be sharing loads of my favorite recipes, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I'm babbling on. This isn't about my news resolution. This is a vintage haul. So I recently went down to Newquay which is in Cornwall which is right down the bottom of England if you don't know and that's where my nan lives and unfortunately she can't get up here to our house for Christmas anymore so we went to visit her um, I go to I've been going to Newquay like every year since I was a baby so it's one of my favorite towns in the UK and one thing I noticed about Newquay is there's loads of charity shops and they're all super super cheap so I'm just gonna show you what they bought so I found one charity shop called Cornwall Hospice Care which had quite a big dress up, fancy dress section and if you know me you know I love dressing up especially at festivals so I got a few sassy pink things for next year including this fabulous, it's a princess dress which I thought would be so cute to wear to a festival or if I have a fancy dress party coming up I thought that would be quite a sassy outfit. So that was three pounds. So, you know, even if I don't wear it, who cares? It was only three pounds. I also got another feather boa. I've already got a pink one, but I'm thinking I might make something with it. I don't know, or just keep it as a feather boa, wear it to a festival, or just wear it as like a sassy scarf, you know? And I also got a vintage, I don't think this is dress out, I think this is actually someone's wedding veil. Um, a vintage baby pink veil. I thought either save for my future wedding or wear it to a festival and dress up as a princess or a bride or something but yeah that was five pound which is a little bit more than I would usually pay but I had to have it and next up I got two glittery numbers so I saw this top and I thought oh my god I have to have it it's absolutely fabulous I just feel like it's such a statement piece, I can literally throw it on with absolutely anything. So I think I'll wear that quite a lot and that was £2 so that is a bargain. And then I got this which is pretty similar. This is just a midi dress, it's quite tight fitting, it's my size. That was £2, what a bargain. This is like car boot sale prices, seriously. New key charity shops are amazing. So yeah, those two I love. So the next thing I got, I saw it and I just instantly fell in love with it. Um, okay, I'm just gonna show you. It is a denim shirt with Winnie the Pooh and Piglet and Eeyore and Tigger. Little embroidered patches all over. This is like my dream top. I grew up reading Winnie the Pooh. It was always my favorite book. I had a little Winnie the Pooh teddy in my bed for years. So this is kind of special to me. I just thought it was so adorable. I feel like this is something I'm gonna keep like forever and hand it down the family. Yes, I absolutely love this. And that was $3.99. Uh, this next jacket, I feel like my friend Tiger is going to adore this because it's fringed. It's a real leather vintage kind of bikery jacket. It's got fringing all over. One thing I'm not really keen on is like, 
the colour of the back of the leather is like not a very nice colour. I wish this was all blue, but even so, I think it's super cool. I'm sure Tiger's gonna end up stealing this from me. Probably more her than my style, but yeah. And this one was £10, um, which is obviously a bit more than I would usually pay, but it's vintage, it's real leather, so totally think it's worth it. And if this was in a vintage shop, this would probably be like £40 at least, maybe 50 Next thing was this fabulous vintage shirt dress. It's got gold buttons all the way down, it's super silky. Um, yeah, I think it's really cool. I'll probably wear it open like kind of like a kimono in the summer, maybe over a bikini or something. I might take this travelling with me because I feel like this is a good, really easy dress to wear. That was £2.50. Barg. And then I got this little choker, which was £1.50. I just thought that was pretty cute. These are kind of weird to some people, but they're like these vintage... Actually, I don't know if they're vintage. They might be dressed or something, but they look vintage. Um, wrestling long shorts. I'm going to cut them into little shorts and they've got stars down the sides. They say fighter on the bum and on the front. And I just thought this would be pretty cool for a festival outfit. I don't know. I don't know. They were like two pounds, so I thought I couldn't pass them up, even if I don't wear them. What else? Yeah. And then last but not least, my star item of the haul this absolutely fabulous vintage fur coat. It's pretty big on me. I think this is about size 20. Um, I tend not to try things on ever. Um, if stuff's too big for me, I make it work. I take it in. I put a belt on it. Yeah, I don't try stuff on in charity shops. I like to wash clothes before I let them touch me, um, especially when they're this old. Also, I just like to say it's not real fur. Yes, this is definitely faux fur. Yeah, I just think this is like super cool for winter. Two more things I forgot. This little shirt, which I bought from my boy. Um, he hates it, but I thought this would be perfect for festival wear yet again. Most things I buy, I have festival outfits in mind. And that was only two pounds, so I thought, why not? I'm basically his personal stylist, so he lets me dress him up however I want, which is fun. So I also got him this vintage kickers shirt which is super cool it's really oversized it's yellow it's checkered um actually no, i might borrow it this is quite cool i could wear this like open as like a little jacket um but yeah that was i think that was three pounds or something and that is everything i got from the new key charity shop so i hope you enjoyed it Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.